Just getting some stuff sorted here. Uh, it might be sick. Okay. Oh, let's start off with a little bit of Need for Speed 3, eh, just to warm up here. Slightly noisy CPU fan, I think that is. Yep. Yeah, noisy CPU fan. Kidoki. <clears throat> but a need for speed action. Right, I have just reinstalled this game, so I probably just need to set up my set up my joystick. Sorry about the webcam capture. <laughs> do we have here since I'm running the all 32 I guess there's not much in here we can change Switch. oh we've got Dolby surround I'll just set it back to normal old stereo Graphics, what graphics options do we have? Oh, let's crank it up a bit, eh? 800 by 600. Let's see what we get. Advanced settings. View distance is far. View angle wide. Headlights projected. Okay. Done. Controllers, here we go. We have Is the is this not working? Oh, is the joystick not working? Ah, I'm not 100% sure this joystick is working. Let's see. Actually, I'm going 
going to see if I can adjust this camera slightly. The verbatim uh, configure a video. Take that brightness down a bit, eh? Oh, look at that, might be a bit better. Contrast. Saturation. Gamma. Oh man. Oh, this. <laughs> that should be a green colour, right? That's like, like an aqua. But um, I can't seem to get aqua out of it. <laughs> That's the white balance. Backlight compensation. Let's have a look here. Bit of zoom, bit of exposure. What do we get there? That's locked. Aye. That's worse. Pan and tilt. Ah, oh, that'll do. That'll do. Looks slightly better. Ever so slightly. It's still not flash. I mean, it looks blue on the screen, eh? That is not blue. <laughs> okay, now why is my joystick not running properly? Oh, it's just adjust the screen here a little bit that's not too bad try that okay just have a look at the device manager here we've got two game port joysticks on not sure why um, I'm just going to remove both of them and then maybe just restart Windows C. See what we get here. Okay, that's found a game port. Maybe just one this time. Let's see. Oh, that's strange. Why? Uh, um, maybe I should do a full reboot. See if we can get this joystick to work. The black looks blue. <laughs> There's very much a blue tint to this webcam. It's looking pretty, pretty horrible. Game port joystick. Does it actually pick up as a joystick port? No. This is bizarre. I do have this issue here. I need to sort as well. Okay. Uh, why? Let's see if this joystick will actually pick up.
it's not detecting it. It's not detecting. Do I have to remove this card from the device manager completely? I've got the most up-to-date driver. Oh. I'm trying to remember now whether I installed it or not. Let's see what it does now. Pretty sure that's on the E drive. The driver's here. Sound. Yeah, I did install the driver. I did a full reinstall of Windows 95 on this computer the other night. It's, a, it's running OSR 2.5. I didn't hear any Windows startup sounds. That's not promising, is it? Yeah, what's this all about? That should be a um, joystick game port. I now have no sound. Oh, yes, I do. Hmm, maybe the joystick port is broken on this, on this card, possibly. Hmm, that could be a bit of a bugger. Uh, anyway, I, I was going to install Plus on here as well. Based on Carcinomi's instructions, which I have right in front of me. Oh, sorry about the flicker. Gee, why? It doesn't seem to be that bad when I'm playing a game. It's just horrible, isn't it? I don't think the Sony camera is going to be much better, actually. If anything, it's going to be worse. Yeah. And I can't set the shutter speed on that. Oops. I can't set the shutter speed on that camera on the Sony while it's in streaming mode, which is a bit of a shame. Okay. And I need to install plus. Well, I want to. I'm uh, just reading the instructions here. Are. Oh, 
Okay. Windows 95 Plus included in former media or available. I think. Oh, hang on a second. I've got it on CD. Just remove the need for speed disk there. And hopefully I have it handy. I think it's here. did copy everything into the options cab folder I'm pretty sure from the disk so can I run it from here I don't think so just trying to find that disk that I burnt Four plus, here we go, I think it's in here. Rewritable CDs, pretty handy for a system like this. I'll look into getting the USB support working and sorting out those chipset drivers. So I've got a few issues to sort out. Chipset drivers, USB support, the game port issue slash sound card potential issue plus here we go see up ah uh, now I got this off the internet <laughs> did I did I say that where did I find it I found it right here. This is uh, available on the Internet Archive, so I'm assuming it's all right that you see this. It's, <laughs> it's publicly available. Okay, installing plus. all good that's everything right internet jumpstart kit oh my god do I need all this dial up networking server I don't think I really need that visual enhancements unleashes the power of high-end systems to make Windows 95 look even better so I guess that's the ability to have greater than 256 colors for the icons is it Drive space 3 not be installed because there is already a newer version present. System agent comes pre-configured to run system maintenance tasks. Would you like? No. Click yes if you usually leave your system on at night. No. wondering if I can 
configure that webcam to be slightly better. Saturation. Let's make it a lot slightly less saturated there as well. Yeah. It's still pretty dodgy, isn't it? Oh, well. Setup will now open the desktop theme window. To choose a desktop theme, click the theme you want in the themes list. Uh, current window settings. Dangerous creatures, I remember that. Inside your computer, I remember that too. Um, tempted just to leave it. The default, just in the meantime. Just to be real boring. Restart. Full restart, right? Microsoft Plus, that's what it is. We've got nicer looking icons, so I think we do. Yes, we do. That's good. Okay. So that's plus installed. But it still doesn't help this issue with the sound card here. Update the driver. Game controller, there is no game controller available there. Ah, oh, wow. I'm not too sure why that's not working, that game controller. The only thing I can think of at this point is that possibly it's faulty on the card. I'm just not 100% sure about that. Um, oh, that's a bugger. I would like to sort this out. Now I downloaded the I downloaded a driver. It was the IDE controller driver. motherboard this one here TX P4-X Intel PIIX Busmaster IDE driver the system did not like that at all this one here as soon as I installed that uh, I got system protection some sort of system protection error yeah I'm very nervous about installing that one because basically um, I actually ended up reinstalling the OS after installing that. I just found it easier because I just couldn't be bothered working it out at the time. Yeah, but this, this is a problem. Yeah. Okay, oh well, no joystick in the meantime. I guess I can just use the keyboard, eh? 
for, mm, bit of need for speed. System is running stably. It's very stable, which is good. No issues since taking the front side bus down to 75 megahertz. Have a little race. With, without joystick. Normally I'll, I would play this with uh, manual transmission but without the joystick I don't think I'm going to bother. Uh, let's change the player car. I quite like the Ferrari. That's a bit of fun. Hometown. Class B. I had these Class A opponents, but actually, what I might do is I might change to a more difficult. More difficult. Um, Components here. I'm trying to remember where to change that. Driving assists off. Go back here. I know. Single race. Ah, oh, where do I change? How difficult it is, or is it just based on opponent cars? Oh, there we go. Opponent skills. Aggressive. Okay, full grid. Class B. Uh, and I just need to check the. Oh, the graphics, did I set that to 800? Yep, 800 by 600. Not sure how well this will run. 800 by 600. Uh, but let's just see how we go. Controllers. Left, right, up, down, handbrake. Shift up, shift down, A and Z. I could do that, but my blimmin' camera is right in the way. Hang on. Do I want to go? I'll I'll stick I'll stick to auto just in the meantime. Okay, let's go. And I'm going to play right-handed. That's my excuse for losing. <laughs> if I lose, <laughs> three. 
dangerous shortcut there off to the left of that bridge. I found that out the other night. <laughs> I basically hit the edge of the mat and it bounced me into the middle of the track on my roof. Not conducive to good racing. Oh, I'm missing my joystick. <laughs> oh, I'll get out of it. I'm last. <laughs> it's definitely harder with the aggressive opponents, as you'd expect. And the very aggressive hit mo he hit me in the rear end then, tried to spin me out. Picked up a place for how long? <laughs> Not for long, I'd say. Playing like this. Uh, this is advanced, uh, aggressive, they're aggressive, <laughs> and I'm playing on the keyboard because my bloody, oh crap, um, my game port's not happy. Um, I had two game ports listed under the sound card controllers, and so because the joystick wasn't being detected in this game I went into the device manager saw there's two game port controllers so I removed both of them and restarted Windows and it picked up not a game controller it picked up an OR32 um, sound card as such it must be you know the game controller as such but it's not called that and it's got a big fat yellow exclamation beside it, so something's not happy. Placed I placed eighth, yeah. Because I can't use my bloody joystick. Um, there's a few things I need to sort with this computer. I put Microsoft Plus on too, mate. So now I've got the fancy icons. Um, I did that just before. And the reason, yep, so I hadn't done that because this is the second time I've installed this OSR 2.5. Uh, the other night, while I was watching your stream actually, I was uh, more like lurking on your stream. <laughs> um, I, had, I thought I'd be smart and I thought I'd try and sort this out. PCI bridge, sorry that screen is bloody hard to see. Um, I'm actually wondering if I put a bit of backlight here, whether that might make a difference. 
you might be able to read it a bit better. Anyway, that's the PCI bridge and the PCI Universal Serial Bus. I thought I'd be smart and download the, a driver from, um, who was it? It was from the retro web or some, somewhere like that. Anyway, it was the, it's this driver here. Uh, it is, so it's for the TXP4-X motherboard. And it's the Intel PIIX BM, that's Busmaster, right? IDE Win95, you know, NT 3.5 NT4 OS2 driver. That the system did, I ran the setup and it basically killed the system on reboot. I it came up with a Windows system protection error. Uh, so I couldn't. Oh, yeah. Oh yes, thank you. Um, I'm working my way through your instructions slowly. <laughs> um, I've got that CD. Uh, but yeah, uh, I tried removing what it had added, the bus mastering, you know, IDE controller in the control panel. I tried removing that to no avail. And I ended up just reinstalling Windows because I couldn't be bothered trying to work it out. So I just reinstalled Windows and I left it at that. It was about one in the morning, I think, when I got that finished after your, I think your, your stream had finished, mate. And it was like, oh, I'm just going to finish off this Windows install. Um, so I didn't bother putting on the uh, plus pack, which I've just done. Um, okay. Install. In here. Where did you say it was? Supplemental, it's 95. Uh, oh, you've probably got it in the bloody instructions. I should read it. Handy little list, list there. Um. Oh yeah. No, I don't see that USB. So let's have a wee look through. God, it doesn't help that you can't read the screen either, does it? I farted around with the bloody webcam to try and get this to look better, but it's not, it's not playing the game. Uh, I can search for it, can't I? If that's, maybe I'll just search USB star dot star or something like that on this drive, yeah. Got USB and other slash updates. Yep, other slash updates seems to be full of USB stuff. USB UPD1, UPD2, USB SUP, here we are, USB SUP. 
install Microsoft USB support. Yes, please. Scanning my disk for errors. <laughs> okay. Yeah, a few little things to iron out here. Um, I'm wondering, while it's doing that, I'll quickly show you the situation. Okay, yeah, that's handy. Uh, the situation with the device manager. Now, that might be a bit hard for you to read, but that there used to be the game port but now it says creative sb all 32 uh sorry all 64 pnp with an exclamation there and i've tried removing it and rebooting windows and it it picks up a game port and then it just installs like this here so i'm not a hundred percent sure whether the game port is actually working in this or 64 card. I've tried removing all of these these three devices here, everything to do with the or 64, and it basically just redetects everything like this here. So yeah. Oh god, look at all these, what is this, long file names or something? Cancel. Oh really? Scan disk was cancelled, it must finish checking a hard disk for errors. Jesus. <laughs> There's a whole lot of m massively long file names that's picking up. <laughs> um, yep. Yeah, no, I used uh, I used the driver that I downloaded. It is this driver here, or 64. So I ran the um, SBW9X up.exe, pretty sure. Yeah, I really need that CD, I think, too, because it's got a whole lot of software on it, eh? Yeah. Okay. Oh yeah, that's handy, sound font's handy, yeah, okay. I never really messed around with the sound fonts back in the day, I just installed the card and used it, gamed with it, that was about it really. Probably didn't have the card, I had an all 32 I think I mentioned to you, um, but it probably got upgraded and you know, sold on with a system or something like that I guess. Right, Vogons. Oh yeah, yeah.
so this is I take it this is a value or 64 that I've got here we go I've got the raw file here oh look at this ignore the error it does, there's no button to say you know ignore all <laughs> I just have to click my way through it oh there's not that many that's all good okay okay yeah yeah I was watching uh, I think it was LGR he had a gold he's got a gold eh? they they look nice Okie dokie. Uh, I'll just extract this RAW file. And it is an ISO, which is handy. Plug in the old external DVD drive. Total necessity, A. I I saw you guys talking about that on uh, Discord earlier. About the need for a, a burner. Totally. Total requirement, hey. Pretty handy. I'm using rewritable discs, as you know only because um, I mean for certain things I think I'll I'll permanently burn, burn to you know like CDR like so that that Windows 95 uh, CD that you pointed me to with the plus and everything on it not too sure how um, how common CDR discs are anymore, whether they're getting hard to get or not, I don't know. I'm sure I've got some. But if you're looking for them, I'm not sure how easy they would be to find. Oh yeah, light scribe. <laughs> yeah. I remember using those. Did I didn't use them a hell of a lot, to be honest, but Yeah. I guess they're all they're all used up, eh? People have burnt them and Oh yeah, warehouse stationery. Oh that's handy to know. Oh my god, yeah. Imagine that, picking up a, a system and finding a <laughs> all 64 gold in it. <laughs> Very handy. Okay, that's going to take a while. Um... So, the other thing was, it's almost like, it's some, it needs the, you know, why is that not right now, yet, I guess I need to install the chipset drivers, right, would be my understanding, to, to sort this PCI bridge and and I thought that maybe what we've just done would have sorted this PCI Universal Serial Bus Controller, but it hasn't. Um, it's just an enabled USB support, right? You've still got to have the correct driver installed, I take it, to get it all up and running. Yeah. Um, so when I had a look for 
the the drivers for this I came across that one um, that I mentioned to you before hold on this TXP4X Busmaster driver now that's all I could find for this for this model motherboard just trying to see where I did find that that's the retro web I found that one Intel P2X oh, maybe maybe I've got the wrong Oh no, TXP4X and it's under the driver section it's the only driver available um, but do I need oh yeah thank you sir Asus yeah copy to send across while you're having a wee look for that for me and get some oh I've already got one there haven't I get some games going ha uh, yeah, so I did a backup of this. Yeah, I've lost some stuff, all right. The phone member I accidentally formatted this bloody thing. This compact flash card like, the other night. Well, I thought it was out of the woods because all the folders are there, but I think most of the folders are empty. <laughs> I've got them on my Pentium 3. I'm sure those games, I'll just have to copy them across. <laughs> All new V6600 GeForce 256. Oh yeah. Do I have anything left on these bloody folders? <laughs> it didn't get far through the format before I killed it, but far enough. Oh yeah, I think I saved most of it. Oh yeah, I've got some games here. Oh, that's good. It's a backup. <laughs> I saved them before I um, reinstalled Windows. So let's grab Descent at least. Oh, what's up with your V6600? Oh, 
Oh, yeah. Uh, have you, were you testing that? Is that one of the ones that you tested? With bad VRAM? You, I know you've got a couple of cards of dodgy VRAM. Sorry. How you going, Evil? Evil C. Um, yep. Unfortunately, this camera here that I'm moving here, you can see it's probably even worse. This is my nice Sony ZV-1. I can set the shutter speed on it, but the sh that I have to change mode. Right, so I have to go to shutter priority uh, as a mode, and that mode is not supported in streaming. So this camera, although it's very good, it's not probably the best streaming camera. Uh, I can't even adjust, I think I've talked about this before, I can't even adjust the fo focus reticule where, you know, that's pointing while I'm streaming. I have to turn the camera off, take it out of streaming mode, set what I want to set and then plug it back in to to stream again and then reset the camera in OBS so it's just a bit of a faff around um, yeah I can't seem to improve this this strobing in fact in in a game it's not so bad uh, I wonder if I can just mess with the refresh on in Windows here I don't know. Let's see. That's probably better for you guys, but it's fucking shit for me. Um, <laughs> that's all right. Let me try. Uh, that's 60 hertz. Slightly better, although still a bit dodgy in that. Let's try 70. Still a bit strobey, eh? Uh, 75. Oh. 85 hertz. Not even sure will this monitor handle that. Will it go out of range? And is this like a modern operating system where you can just do nothing and it comes, you know, reverts back? I don't know. I'm not too keen on trying that actually. Uh, was 60 okay? No, that's no good. That's not bad, eh? Oh, I can, if I hit enter on 85, I know that it'll let me get out of it. Oh yeah, there's 85. Ugh. Looks nice here, though. <laughs> 70, I think, is probably about the best we're going to get at the moment. Oh, uh, actually, what I should do, because I was really just excited about this monitor. Let's go back to the old crusty ViewSonic, eh? I'll put you out of your misery. <laughs> uh, yeah, it handled it, didn't it? Um, although it's, what's the res? 1024 by 768, wasn't it? Yeah, 85 hertz. So yeah, it's it's okay. Um, I think that is the standard resolution of this little flat panel I'm about to put on. Um, let's just set it back to optimal. 
I'm not even sure what that what that is. I'll just shut it down. Uh, do I shut it down? Bear with. We're just working through a uh, couple of issues here at Evil C where um, I do have an issue with the a couple of the drivers and I have an issue with um, with the game port on this OR64 not 100% sure whether it's a driver issue at this stage or whether it's a an actual fault but the joystick didn't work This thing's heavy. <laughs> oh Christ. It's chucking out a bit of heat too. <laughs> Just get myself untangled here. Oh bloody hell. got a 19 inch ViewSonic uh, which is up at store, my storage and I must go and grab it that's a beast of a thing it's not overly high spec or anything like that but um, yeah it's just a bit of a beast <laughs> so I should stop neglecting it bring it down give it a clean up now I'm just hoping this resolution is going to be all good here, or is it out of range? Oh, it's out of range. Just going to shut down, hopefully. Hopefully she'll come back up. And now I can actually pl um, point my camera at it, <laughs> my proper camera, <laughs> not this thing here. All right, here we go. Oh no, it's back. <laughs> uh, I'm not sure what happened with OBS there. <laughs> okay. <laughs> it came right. Um, right. I have. This might be a bit nicer for you guys to to look at. Except it's going to focus hunt, eh? Um, I could set it to manual focus, but then as soon as I move the camera some other time, you know, which I do. It's going to be no good. Let me, I'll just disconnect this camera for a second.
Okay. Yeah, so, uh, yeah, Carcinoma is trying to find a, a chipset driver for me. I take it that's what, you, what we refer to it as. Motherboard chipset driver for this old beastie. <laughs> oh, God, blimey. And you can see there that the, um, now it's focusing on this. Good one. How's that? Y you might be able to see there that the, uh, this should be a game port. And it was, but there were two game ports in here. And my joystick wasn't working in Need for Speed and so i removed the two game ports it was they were listed correctly as game port and i removed both of them because i thought there should only be one and when the computer restarted it detected that game port again but lists it here as a creative sb or 64 and i've just burnt a disc which is finished it's the or 64 cd driver applications and drivers I think so that I should install good of you guys to come along and keep me company help me out Creative audio software, creative inspire, creative video web phone, cake walk, guitar. I'll leave those other ones. I'll go for the creative audio software, uh, but there might be drivers on here too, right? If I have a look at the disc. Look at that, Windows 95 and we've got 12 disks and a drivers folder. Update driver at updrv95.exe. I'll run that um, because the one that I downloaded, it had this folder I think in it, but that's all it had. It didn't have all the rest of the bits and pieces. And this might be a more up-to-date driver, I don't know. didn't seem to do much there did it oh yes it did look <laughs> creative game port joystick okay this is promising I did not enjoy playing Need for Speed 3 Hot Pursuit with no bloody joystick I can tell you that wasn't happy Uh, do I need to reboot, do you think, for it to pick this? Because normally the controller would be here, right? It's plugged in. It's plugged in and try and get this focusing. I shouldn't have to manually add this, eh? I'm just going to try a, a quick reboot here. I'm going to do a full hard, you know, warm boot. I'll just edit. Yeah. 
I'm reading your chat now. <laughs> catch, I'm in catch up here. Uh, add it. Uh, now, I'm wondering if I should download the driver for this. It's a, it's a Microsoft. There will be drivers for this too. I'm sure I've got it on floppy somewhere. That BSD. Sidewinder 3D Pro. Okay. I'll, while I look for that though, I will auto run this CD again. Creative audio software. Oh yeah. Okay. Strongly recommended ex all other programs, okay. Ooh, all the goodies. Oh yeah. That switch there, yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Creative Inspire. CTSND. Let's do the full install. Minimum system requirements. Pentium 16 meg. Sure. <laughs> Thunder crash. Let's have a listen. I should feed the output of the sound card straight into the stream. Eh? That's that's something I've been thinking about doing as well, rather than you guys listening to it through a set of speakers in my room here. Sound font management system. So it's changing the system I and I. Okay. Let's have a listen to the the new startup, eh? Oh, yeah. No thunder crash, but eh, that was that's nice enough. Oh, is that the plus? Is that the plus startup sound that we just heard? Yeah, okay. Uh, I want to, I want to install the driver um, for the joystick. Bloody focus. Focus you bastard. Oh yeah, okay. I've got the focus reticule down um, down here somewhere so it's trying to focus on this on this section here. But having a little bit of trouble. Okay, uh, that's good. 
driver is happy if I add a joystick I would I would like to you know download the proper Microsoft one uh, at some stage but let's just roll with this yeah Oh yeah, TX97. I uh, that could be an option, eh? Uh, so what did you say? I'm just looking. Registers as an eight button with rudder and throttle and hat oh sorry about that focus Jeez. or if I switch to switch I'll switch to switch and um, go for the CH flight stick Let's just give it a whirl. Uh, it's not quite central. Needs calibration. That one's probably. Oh, yeah, here we go. Calibrate. Axis 3, I don't have Axis 3. That'll do. <laughs> okay. Oh yay, joystick port works. Okay. Four seventy two and two one sixty eight. Yep, that's right. It's 3, 168, but okay, yeah. The other thing I noticed, which could be a trap for young players, with um, with this board, is that it's got the shared PCI and ISA, which, you know, I didn't really even consider um, until I had a quick flip through the manual. And, I mean, it's pretty obvious when you look at it that they're shared, but... Um, you know. Uh, yeah, yeah, I did. Yep. It's behind the it's behind the PCI slot. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, okay, yeah. Okay, <laughs> yeah. I don't think I've ever seen one of those before. Right. I need to test this bloody joystick, you know. <laughs> oh, I should grab that CD, shouldn't I? That one you were just mentioning. Oh yeah. Just got to have a little play here. Okay. Bit of need for speed. Let's see if I can actually do better than eighth position with the joystick, eh? Oh, thanks. Oh, yep. Yeah, yeah uh, actually, I think I've got that. Um, what? 
I think I've got that image, or I've got that floppy disk actually for the Sidewinder in the in the garage somewhere. Is it going to read this disk? Why is it not reading the disk? It's trying. Here we go. Yeah, it takes a while to kick into life sometimes. Anyway, I'm pretty sure this joystick is working as it is. But that'll be something that I'll um, clean up at some stage. I'll get the proper Microsoft driver on there. What is it doing? Oh, I've set the resolution. No, I haven't. Why is it not displaying anything? What's it doing? <laughs> Good on Remus. Need for Speed 3 is not happy. It was running before, wasn't it? <laughs> Uh, if in doubt, rebooted it, right? <laughs> Something's not happy. It's gone out to lunch. Mm. Something wasn't happy. You ready for the startup sound? It reminds me a little bit of the Microsoft Splash intro, you know, for some of those older Microsoft games. A little bit. Okay. Let's see if it's happy now. Oh yeah, here we go. Sweet. Uh, I'm just going to quickly go and grab a, a drink. I will be right back. I'll leave you just with this start up here. Back soon.
Um, as far as I know, the or, the or 64, as far as I know, my limited knowledge is, 30, is 4 meg of RAM standard. But that maybe that's maybe that's the gold. I don't know because I watched a video about the or 30 or 64 gold. Uh, and I think it, yeah, it was 4 meg, something like that. Anyway, I could be talking crap, I don't know. <laughs> uh, now, graphics, 800 by 600. Seem to run okay. I uh, can't really go any more than that. Advanced settings, yeah, that looks okay. And audio, there's not much to change in here apart from I've got these modes here, stereo, mono, and Dolby surround. Now, I'm not sure whether that Dolby surround is available only because this is an OR64, you know, whether it gives it that capability, I don't know, I didn't try it. Yeah, it does work. Um, I'm running on stereo speakers here. Yeah, it does give it a different sound. I'll turn it up so you can hear it. It gives the sound stage a bit more depth, that's for sure. Oh yeah, 512k for the value card, yeah, okay. Okay, uh, I'm just going to have a a quick a, a quick race, guys, and then we'll explore this all 64 a little bit more. Uh, controllers. Yep. Okay. So we have joystick. Shift up. Shift down. That'll do, mate. Just a quick and dirty race here. Uh, I will choose manual since I'm playing with the joystick and this is set to aggressive uh, opponents I'm racing against class B in a class B car I played on the joystick earlier for those who weren't watching earlier <laughs> and I came last uh, whether I'll do much better now I don't know. Hopefully the joystick will improve my gameplay. My game playing abilities. Three, two, one, go. Peel it up off the line. So much easier with the joystick. It doesn't mean that I'm going to win this race. <laughs> On my screen, I'm just distracted by this at the bottom of the screen. Oh man, I should just concentrate on the game. It's 
the screen's wrapping around, I think. <laughs> Top to bottom. Oh, I screwed that up. Oh well, we've got some catch up to do now. Oh no, cock that up. <laughs> Little bit of a dead zone with his joystick, but it's not bad. I'm not making excuses. <laughs> Promise. Oh, come on. That's your best lap. You placed sixth. Sixth. Better than eighth. Well, joystick works, that's good. Okay. I'm pleased. That works. All control was it that we needed to look at just to see yeah see what's what we got in the way around yeah Five twelve k. So not going to fit much into that, eh? Casanomi, <laughs> uh, did you find that? driver for the motherboard was that the TX97 was it you were looking into and in fact how big a deal is 
this here, you know, this PCI bridge. I mean, I guess the potential. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, you did too. Did you link it? Did you link it in the chat? Did you? I think you did. Oh, yeah. You did too. Good on you. Cool. Got it. <laughs> yeah, typical, eh? When, yeah. Bloody rain. Uh, oh, that's the sidewinder, yeah, that you sent through. Should I look further? Ah, there we go. Got it, got it, got it, thanks. TX97, okay. I'm gonna, I need more CDR, CD rewritables, don't I? Um, download this, okay. Yeah. Yes, I have some nicks in the garage, or um, actually, we'll see how this is. Is this a disc image? Is it? I think it is. Yeah, that's a nice as well. But I can mount that A eh, and just pull the files out, which I'll do. Um, mount it. And then I can just use my compact flash. That's going to be a whole lot quicker. Uh, so my question is, is that without the PCI bus, you know, driver, potentially things are going to be slower, right? Or it's, it's just not going to perform as well in Windows, I take it. It's nice to have all your drivers installed properly, eh? of water precariously sitting here <laughs> yeah see how much I can fit onto this thing <laughs> drive. I have 200 megabytes. Okay. Bassmaster folder, I'll grab that, that looks important um, for the IDE controller, right? DMI. Oh, it's even got PFLASH on here, look at that. How big is this? It's 198 meg, so I should just about fit the whole thing on. Yeah, Nick, 
so that might be the mission for tomorrow is get a nick set up what else do i want to do with this machine i want to mount the hard drive i want to mount the compact flash card reader properly cpu fans getting a little bit noisy only when i start the machine from cold it's a little bit noisy but um it comes right <laughs> okay I've got a whole bunch um, well do I have a whole bunch it feels like I do but not sure I have to have a good look I know I've got some RL 2000s because they're the what we used to use back in the bloody netwear days <laughs> A friend of mine was a netware guru <clears throat> and I remember setting up IPX SPX you know drivers on a on a machine <laughs> uh, we were using coax cable with bloody terminators for networking doom and stuff like that because Ethernet wasn't a thing <laughs> not for us anyway Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Righty oh. That was a bit quicker than burning a disc, eh? Okay. Um shall I just run the setup? on this disc I'm just hoping it doesn't cause havoc <laughs> yeah I remember we had to um, okay auto run we would we'd have T T connectors in, in the in the cable you know and you couldn't leave the T connector on the floor because of static issues <laughs> We to, so we'd have like a join that wasn't, didn't have a terminator or anything, you only had the terminators on either end. And I remember, you know, just propping up this T connector on, on a cardboard box just to keep it up off the carpet. <laughs> so, yeah. Okay, Busmaster, I guess, is probably, yeah, Rainbow. Bus master is probably the important one, yeah. Yeah, caution. Because <laughs> I installed a bus master driver the other day and it wasn't a happy system. Okay, so we've got bus master, here we go. <laughs> Cross fingers here. I suspect that this could cause a Windows protection fault because this is a similar driver I think to the one I put on the other night. I oh, okay. Shall I do that first? Because yeah, I doubt I've even looked at that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Banging wires into them. Love it. Yeah. Okay, do the patch now. Oh yeah. 
So this will fix. Okay. So that should fix that um, PCI bus issue. So I want to go into the BIOS, right? And check that bus mastering is on. Is that RDE block mode? That one there, yeah. Is that, am I on the right page now? ID, IDE HDD block mode sectors. HDD max, yep. Is that the one you were referring to? Block mode should be on IDE max. Yep. Okay, um, anything in here I need to look at? Video bias cacheable. Okay. I don't want this here, eh? Not in this. I mean, I really just need. Don't I want to set this plug and play to yes as well? And just. I think that was when I was dicking around with trying to get the IAQ on the ISA card, you know, the sound card set to five and. DMA1 and DMA5, things like that. I think that should be okay, eh? USB IRQ needs enabling. Okay, here we go. We have found a PCI host bridge, Pentium processor to PCI bridge, PCI ISA, oh, it's looking promising isn't it?
is this still a valid location in these operating systems? Busmaster IDE controller it's looking for. Yeah, so shall I just cancel it and then install it from... The only other thing I can think of is just browse to here. That one? No. Oh, she's locked. Yeah. She's locked up. Fun and games. Ah, uh, yeah. Probably a good point. She's locked again. Uh, so if I drop the mm, yeah. Yep. Sixty-six. Sixty-six. On these jumpers. <laughs> Just looking up the jumper settings. Sixty-six. One, two, one, two, and open. 466 mode. I'll just drop that down. One, two, set to two, three at the moment. One, two, two, three, one, two. That's 75. And we want one, two, one, two, open. 466.
Now we've got nothing. What do I do? Oh no, we do. That took a while. Uh, a 90 megahertz. What did I do? <laughs> 90 megahertz? Hang on, I better double check. One, two, two, three, and open, maybe. Oops, where did that bloody jumper go? We're running at 266. That will be... Is that right? Yep, 230 megahertz officially. It's reporting as a 266. Uh, will it lock again? Yes. Um, possibly safe mode, yeah? That again. Um, plug and play, wasn't it? Yep. locked again um, do you think safe mode and get that um, am I able to install that other drive the bus master driver in safe mode yeah yeah that fan
Okay. Yes, I read it, I promise. Set up requires systems with a Windows 95 and P2X Busmaster IDEA controller. Do I need to... Is there anything in here? Um, might be in a catch twenty two, yeah. That's the same one, isn't it? That is the same one. Yep. Yeah, I saw that pre flash in there, yeah. Um, yeah, I could try that old version. I was just going to have a quick look and see whether this, I can actually find the, find a, a driver. Whatever it's looking for here, maybe, I don't know. This might be promising. Yeah. <laughs> I think so. It basically said that it had found the driver in the INF. In the INF folder. let it do its thing eh oh it's giving me flashbacks to when you culled the device manager the other day Karsunami <laughs> basically just took everything out didn't you sound card's working now yeah right yeah Yeah, what the hell happened to my compact flash? Compact flash drive has stopped working. Okay. I need to get, maybe just do a reboot, yeah? 
restart of Windows. Yeah. <laughs> God, I love beer. Oh, yes, look at that. My compact flash is back. What's our device manager? Okay. Um, we still have this little beastie here, but do I need... Do I need to auto-run that disk again? Because we've still got that... Uh, that other driver to install, don't we? Busmaster, or is that already? Yeah. Yes, I've read the license agreement. Stop annoying me about it. Yep. Okay. Fingers crossed, because this is the one that screwed it up last time with a Windows protection fault. <coughs> Yay! It's looking good. Come on. IDE at tappy.mpd that's CD-ROM related isn't it um, I might just note that down and see if I can find it Okay. No. Um, IDE. A tappy. Dot M P D. Uh, cancel that. Oh, system, sorry. Yep. It's not going to do it, is it? Um, It's not in there either. Um, okay.
There we go. System IO subsys. Yeah, it's got the same day. Or well, Windows INF. The INF. Can I do it from here? Update the driver. just run through that install first Disk one UHC is it? Oh, it is too. <laughs> Did I screw it? USB to that one there. It is too. That's got today's date on it, so that's... Yeah, I didn't even read that before, that it was a USB controller. <laughs> Anyone will think I'm the one who's drinking all the beer, right? working. Bus master. Ah, uh, so this one here. PCI to USB. Shall I just, yeah, shall I just remove it and see whether it redetects, you know, magically, oh yeah, yes, 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 gotcha, 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 jeepers.
can probably set that speed back up once I confirm this is all running it's looking tidy now this is all it takes just that one bio setting to get oh yeah Looking good. Oh, that is a tidy device manager. Thank you. God knows how long that would have taken me to sort out if it wasn't for you, mate. I was just, oh. Yeah. been a long time <laughs> spent too much time dicking around with Amigas that's my problem um, that's awesome that's everything up and running uh, what was I going to do oh, I set set the clock speed back up again that's all So I just need to change one jumper, one measly little jumper. Getting to know this board inside and out now. Considering what a couple of weeks ago it was, this board was uh, sitting on top of a pi junk pile. Well, not junk, but just a pile of stuff with no anti static protection. It was outside of its bloody, it was just out, out in the breeze, you know, uh, in the garage. No anti static protection with that K6. I think it was with that, had that K6 CPU on it. And, um, is that the story or no? No, no, I'm telling crap. Um, this machine was sitting way up on a top of a high shelf, and I was looking for a K6 2 and I saw that machine and I thought I don't know what's in that and I grabbed it down and it had a K6 in it it's a machine that I would have built ages ago and never really got around to finishing properly certainly not to this extent anyway yeah it's kind of cool I like it um, I'm just wondering what to do now. Uh, I could I could test the all thirty two. I could play some more games. <laughs> um, Could do some benchmarking. I've pretty much done the benchmarking I think that we wanted to do on the machine. Um, yeah. <laughs> it seems to run pretty well. I wanted to try Need for Speed 2 at the higher resolution, uh, Need for Speed 3 at the higher resolution just to see. Just to see what happens. 
Is it playable? So what you saw before was 800 by 600. See if I can get it to run at the 1024 by 768. If it will let me even choose that resolution, and it'll be running at the native resolution of this screen, then yeah. That's right, no. Yeah, so 800 by 600 is the highest resolution that it will, that I can choose. I wonder if, with this game, if you had it running on a better system, it would allow you to change this, you know, increase this resolution. I don't really know the game well enough to, to answer that. Um, but yeah, it runs pretty good at 800 or 600. What about um, Need for Speed 2 SE? wondering what that can be pushed to do Okay. So do you think that, I was sort of thinking about, you know, once you get a machine to the point where it's you've got all the drivers everything's set the way you want it and you've got a nice install going um i was thinking it would be quite good to take an image of the drive store it away you know if anything happens to the machine to the install you can just restore the uh the image. Is that something you bother with or do you just go oh, bugger it and reinstall the system? <laughs> I mean I guess it's pretty easy if you've got all the media, if you've got the Windows 95 media, you know, with and if you want to put plus on you can, you've got if I decide to I can do that. And then what? That ASUS that ASUS software? And the drivers for you know the 3D effects card, the graphics card, and the and the sound card. I mean, it's not hard to reinstall, eh? <laughs> I don't mind. I I did I installed Windows twice the other night. Um, Kasanomi, you you helped me with the initial install. Remember, I got that bad sector on the hard drive, and I decided to put this other drive in. And then you pointed me in the right direction for the um, Windows 95 OSR 2.5 with Plus, and I whacked that on. As I say, I think I was I was sort of lurking on your stream actually, just ha had you going beside me, and um, I was mucking around with that, and I put that bloody Bus Master um, driver on, and it caused an issue, and I ended up reinstalling. Because I couldn't be bothered working out how to fix it. Um, 
and yeah, just enjoyed installing Windows 95 twice in one night. <laughs> I don't mind. I guess you get sick of it at some stage. It's like nostalgia for me still, eh? Yeah, yeah, I bet it does. OS2 doesn't look like a lot of fun. Yep. Yep, okay. Yeah, man. Living and learning, eh? <laughs> it's all good. Graphics, what do we get? Not much. Car detail on. View distance far, horizon on. Is it using the Windows res? Let's see what we get in audio here. The stereo and mono. Everything's on. Style wild. I should try it on simulation mode. Let's try Outback Australia. That McLaren's Class A, isn't it? That's that isn't that the one I just played in Need for Speed 3? Is that a Class A car? Uh, class it's Class B in Need for Speed 3. Pretty sure that's the same one. Um, so opponents, I make them Class B advanced. camera view. Uh, a couple of these buttons are a bit... It doesn't know that. It doesn't actually map those buttons. Um, camera, I'll make space. Camera view. Oh no, I want... Actually, see for camera. Look behind space. That'll do. Handbrake. Uh, I don't know. That'll do. Force feedback. I should get my force feedback joystick out. All I need to do is hook up power to it. You know, I could run it off my bench power supply, couldn't I? I picked that up at the recycle center, no power supply with it. Oh, this could be a disaster. <laughs> the Australian map. So the effect in this one is um, bug splat on the window. rather than the rain.
I've said it before and I'll say it again, this computer is stable. Unlike the driver. I think I might have made it too hard. <laughs> What? I need... Oh man. Miles behind now. Here we go. Jump. Not here. Next one, is it? Oh, maybe this car's not fast enough to get the jump. Or is it here? Little jump. There's bug splat. That's risky. Concentrate on the game. I've got another gear. Bit of understeer there. Oh no. Oh. That's a trap. Can end up hitting that building, it's nasty. Buildings tend to stop you fairly quickly. Just like bridge abutments, eh? Hey? <laughs> Is this where that I get airborne? No. I must have been racing in a faster car last time. <laughs> yeah, I was. I was racing in the McLaren. That's why I used to get airborne off there. These guys are hard to catch. Well, when you drive like shit, they are anyway. Come on. Oh, someone hit the wall there. Big cloud of smoke. What am I? Fifth. Too fast. Miles too fast into there. Just pushing it too far. Well, this is a challenge.
It's a nice banked corner. Too fast there. Ah, uh, what? <laughs> I know there's got to be some shortcuts here somewhere. <laughs> I just can't remember where they are. <gasps> That's not a shortcut. Well, not last, sixth. Oops. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I do. It's a class B car though. <laughs> It's challenging. Uh, yeah, the McLaren could be interesting. <laughs> Just aware of the um, battery. Oh yeah, battery on the um, on my wireless mic, but it's holding out. The camera's holding out too, hey. No no worries about batteries anymore. Okay, so um do do we want another race? Maybe I'll choose the McLaren or would you prefer that I did something else like I don't know around with a sound card or something. Or we'll play another game. The Aura 64 is doing well. This I don't think is um, testing it properly though, eh? Nineteen ninety seven smack bang in the era of the CPU. Nineteen ninety seven. Looking where I change, change my name. 
personal stats. No. I try a different track. Um, this will be messy if I. Don't control it. <coughs> if I'm not in control of the McLaren, it's going to be messy. That is a Class A car. Uh, let's stick with, we'll stick with Outback, see if we can get some air. Handles a lot better. Not so much under steer. Oh, yeah, well, maybe there is. <laughs> oh, yeah. Just trying to go too fast. Cheating class A versus class B, but it doesn't help when dickies do things like that. Pull right out in front of you like that. <laughs> Just bunny hopped. Here we go, bit of air. Oh, shit. Still coming in too fast to that corner. Oh no! Shit, that was close. See you later, pal. Very playable on this computer. Thanks to the Voodoo one as well, eh? I guess. Oh, come on. Did you see that? He cut me off. Oh, oh no. It's getting loose. You see him be forced me off the track. The brakes don't work very well. <laughs> I want a brake upgrade.
It sounds like stunt car racer when he leaves ground like that. The over revving engine. Stunt car race is so good. Almost too fast through the air. Oh, that tightens up. smacking into my arse end there, trying to push me. Oh, come on. Oh, you shitting me. On the last lap too. Oh, got back to third, I don't know how. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> no holes in the roll cage. Oh, I've forgotten how fun these games are. Bit of fun. I am having fun with this computer. Oh, shit, sorry, that's the camera. <laughs> I should put it up a bit higher, shouldn't I? Oh, there's a, there was a boxed Need for Speed 2 on Trade Me. But it went for a bit more than I was prepared to pay. What did it go for? <clears throat> so what has gone here. NVIDIA Reva TNT2 M6432 meg graphics card relisted so either was that 20 bucks or something? Was it more? By now it's been relisted. Windows, Windows NT4 got passed in. No bids. NT server. <clears throat> Uh, where is this Need for Speed 2 SE? Yeah, 4556 for a boxed Need for Speed. Oh, it's Need for Speed SE. It's not Need for Speed 2 SE, is it? Oh, Need for Speed SE, yeah. $45.56. That would have been quite nice to have in the collection, but yeah. It's a bit too much for my liking. <clears throat> oh, 
Oh, okay. IE5. Update the icons to the Windows 98 style. Okay. Was that on your checklist there, Karsinomi? I think, yeah, Internet Explorer 5.5 SP1. Yep, I will do that. And the Y2K updates. Yeah, I'm not too worried about that. Um, Windows 95 CPU speed fixes. I'm not using a 500 megahertz plus, so yeah, I think I'm pretty well done with this uh, install, except I might put that Internet Explorer 5.5 on. Um, I won't do that tonight though, but yes, that's that's another thing on the list. <clears throat> CD audio cable needs plugging in. Uh, let's do a little test. Eh? Now. Games. Descent. Ah, uh, what? Auto detect sound hardware. Let's see if it'll do this under Windows, eh? Select the sound card. That looks right. IRQ5, DMA1. What does Windows say, actually? What is the sound card set to? Yep, IRQ5, DMA1, DMA5, IO220. Pretty bog standard, eh? That's good. I reckon uh, even Blimmin... Um, Redneck Rampage will run nicely with those settings and that was notoriously difficult to get running. Uh, I found it difficult at times. Okay, music card. Music card. OPL3, Sound Blaster all 32. Digital sound. Sounds, sounds good. I should really check and see that the other half is not in bed and <laughs> I don't want to wake her up <laughs> if she's in bed. Oh yeah. Um, so there will be default sound fonts in the car already loaded, is that, is that right? Yeah. Okay. Ah, let's let's do a little comparison. I'll um, I'll choose the standard Sound Blaster or 32 at the moment, and let's Um, it's locked. Uh, I chose 3.30 though, didn't I? Oh, has it locked? <laughs> Let's try that again. Music card, general MIDI. Should I choose 2.20? Is it? No, I didn't load sound fonts. No, 3.30, okay. 
Yeah. Um, okay, so that, I've never done this before. Load a font, okay. Or control, is it? Or control. Uh, so available synths, general MIDI, configured path, uh, okay. So if I browse that and choose sound bank, there's no sound bank file. So do I need to do I need to put one in to a, into this folder here and point this? Synth GM dot SBK looks like it might already have one, does it? Synth GM dot SBK apply no cancel that click on general MIDI in the window yeah Yeah. Is that a shouldn't this shouldn't this RAM fill up though? You know. So am I reading this right in that synth gm dot spk is the sound font that's Oh I see. Oh yeah. Synth GS dot SVK. Oh yeah, and this takes a while. Okay, so that's loaded now, isn't it? That's used the whole half half meg. Okay. Uh, and then let's just try to send again, yeah. General MIDI. Test music card. Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yep. And from what I've seen, you you have to reload that that font every time you reboot the computer. Is is that because it has to basically load that font into the RAM. So before you play your game you go into there and just do that, yeah? Okay. Right. That's cool. Yeah, it's quite different, eh? Oh, I see, yep. But, I mean, I can play pretty much all my DOS games in Windows on this computer, eh? You know, there's no real need to go into raw DOS mode, is it? Lights of Doom and Descent and things like that. Okay. Sound Blaster 16. 
<laughs> yeah, yeah. And I can go OPL2, right? As well. So different. Yeah, that sounds really good. Am I missing something? Wasn't that just working before? <laughs> General MIDI. Do I have to... Do I run the game from here? Isn't it descent.exe? What's this? Descent. Okay. Oh, yeah, that sounds good. Oh, okay. Do you think this is playing all 32, not the general MIDI? I don't know it well enough to... Yeah, okay. But just, just as a, as a check, I can go back in here, can I? And if I just sort of, if I just quit out of here and go back in, I should see that that RAM's still full, yeah? Under all control, yeah. So that would indicate that the RAM's still, still loaded, I guess. Um, okay. Back in a sec. Um, I won't be...
put the mic closer to the speaker. Hopefully you can still hear me. Yeah. I don't think I really appreciated what I had back in the day with my OR32. Probably because I never really um, explored it properly. I really just probably just put it in and ran my games and didn't really <laughs> didn't really get the most out of it. But this yeah. This is just so great. Yeah. Really, really enjoying this. The, the form egg is nice. So those, um, yeah, yeah, and they're pretty hard to come by, right? Pretty hard to come by those ram boards, I bet. It makes you wonder if they if they'll ever come up with a reproduction if they haven't already. Just checking my battery there. I better, I better just um, hook up my battery bank. Before my microphone runs out, a wireless, a wired option would be handy. Uh, I could plug the lavalier microphone directly into the camera you know that would be a bright thing to do wouldn't it <laughs> I'm not too sure what the sound level would be like but let's see if I can charge this on the go yes I can okay I can see what's going to happen here. I'm going to forget that I've got all this hooked up and I'm going to get up and walk away with and drag all this off the bench with me. <laughs> oh, okay. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, right. Um, yeah. No, I think what I can do is is I can plug this directly into my camera and then you know I'll just hang the camera down uh, hang the microphone down from here I think that I think that'll work okay yeah um, so I do quite a few YouTube videos for my work and I found that um, this this lavalier mic, even just this Rode wireless mic by itself, you don't have to have the lavalier plugged in, made a huge difference and audio is really important um, as you know. Uh, and it made a huge difference to my YouTube videos and at, at times I would be working away from the subject uh, so I'd have the camera near the subject and I'd be working away from the subject and the sound was just crap. This just fixed everything. Uh, not overly cheap, but um, you know, I, I just invest my what I get paid for YouTube back into some of my gear. Hence the Sony ZV-1 and microphone stand and bits and pieces. So. Um, yeah, the YouTube 
pays not too badly, but you know, certainly if you take the hourly, hourly rate into consideration, it will be a very low hourly rate, considering the amount of time it takes to shoot a video and edit it and all that. Um, but it's it's definitely worthwhile. I mean, I could stop making YouTube videos now and still keep, you know, uh, gathering the income from it, which effectively would put the hourly rate up, you know, as, as time goes on. But I keep it going uh, as much as I can. Try and do a video a week, but it's difficult when you're trying to get work done as well. So it is part of my work, but I've, I've got to keep the paying customers happy and keep um, the work going out. Um, so YouTube takes a back, you know, a uh, back seat. But, yeah, a few little toys make a difference, that's for sure. Oh yeah, 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 okay. Um, so slide left, slide left, I'll just make left arrow, can I do that? Why, why won't, oh because this is buttons, okay. Fire primary, fire secondary, Fire secondary. Um, I don't, so the driver's not quite right, so I don't, these two buttons up here, they don't work. Uh, but I'll sort that out at some stage. Pitch and turn. Bank left. Slide left, slide right, bank left and right. Yeah, the slide up and down's handy too. <laughs> oh yeah. I think that's, I'm trying to remember how, because I did play this reasonably recently, uh, probably within the last year or two, and I do remember having, see it's a, it's a bit awkward for me because I'm left, I'm left handed, I'm kind of cack handed, um, and I would play my games with my left hand WASD, um, but it also, I'd also play the joystick like that as well, but I think I think I could probably handle the keys right handed not sure or I go the other way because I can play right handed with the joystick or can I tell you what I'm wondering if the mouse might be better for this Anyway, um, that's not what this is about. It's just, yeah, I'm gonna have to, I'm gonna have to put some um, thought and probably experimentation into the setup. I'm not sure my brain can handle a right-handed joystick, but possibly keys. Yeah. Nah, not too keen on the point of view hat. Oh yeah, everything on the stick.
Slide left and right. So what did you suggest, Carcinomi, with twisting the th twisting the stick? Twist for banking, if you want. Mm. Yeah, I think I'll go with Q and E for banking. Uh, bank left and right. I don't actually think I want it that way. Oh, this, I don't know if the joystick is calibrated either. It won't let me... Oh. Did I have the keypad set up for this? I might have. Slide left, slide. Yeah, I think I had like a T set up on the on the keypad. Slide up, slide down with the plus. No, that's banking pad seven and nine. Four and six. That doesn't seem right. Pitching. I'll do on the joystick. Slide left. Pad one. Slide right. Pad three. Slide up. Slide up. That one's going to be quite important. Pad plus and minus, that'll do in the meantime. Bank. Bank left. That's actually on the joystick, eh? Interesting. Oh, joystick two. This could turn out badly. <laughs> I better just turn that volume down a bit because the other half is in bed. Um, yeah, um, the keys are not quite right. I love this game. Can't make adjustments inside the game. Okay. Uh, 
I was going to turn the um, main volume down and turn the music volume up <laughs> so that we can enjoy the wonders of the OR64. play like this with left hand joystick right hand keyboard seems pretty pretty good A map key would be quite handy on the joystick too, wouldn't it? Oh shit, here we go. Find these keys slightly though. Oh shit, my armor's down. <laughs> yeah, it's not a hundred percent. Uh, I'm just going to figure out what I need, but that's cool, isn't it? Eh? Options. slide up and slide down.
this is where I made my sword up and down. Ooh. I haven't used my concussion missiles yet, have I? I do have fond memories of playing this multiplayer with Mackenzie. that slide sorted. I'm not quite sure what key I'm going to use for that. Is it this restart time, isn't it? <laughs> Complete restart. You know, pick up from where you left off, do you? What do you? Yes, you do. Oh, I lost the hostages. Okay, yeah, of course, but... Oh, 
is not good. Uh, I just can't remember now. I had to fight my way past that guy down the bottom, didn't I? And escape that way, did I? I can't remember now. Opposite the reactor, <laughs> yeah. I, for some reason I had this weird idea, I had to go back out the way I came. <laughs> yeah. That is cool though. That is a cool game. I should be using my map more too. Which I think on that one is probably the tab key. Yeah. Nice game. Yeah. Okay, um, what else can I, that is a bit low, uh, what else can I have a wee play with, that is cool though, I like, I like this here, um, music card, general midi. I'm going to sit and listen to that for a while. <laughs> Some stage. Just so that I can differentiate. It's got its tits in a tangle there, hasn't it? That's all right. Very cool. Very cool. Um, okay. What else have I got on here? Quake. What sort of sound options have we got with Quake as far as or 32 or 64 is concerned Now we're not going to get the CD music obviously, which would be cool. So what, I guess you just have to burn a Quake CD, do you, and and it plays through, through there? I don't know. Um, there's no real options here for sound, apart from volumes, eh? I take it it's just using the Windows Windows sound options. What else have I got? Um, I think I killed the games when I accidentally formatted this combat flashcard. Pretty sure I did. Oh, hang on. I've got Doom 2. Duke 3D.
Okay. Doom. Music playback device. General MIDI again, right? It's going to be the way to go. Sound effects. Sound blaster. Uh, 260, that wasn't right, was it? Should be 220, shouldn't it? 51.
That fan's getting noisier again. Wasn't it one and five? Let's go the four hog. That should be. 300. Should it have been? So, 330, sorry. Okay. Um. Maybe it's doing that thing again, eh? Where I need to start the game. Okie dokie. Is. Oh, crap. Um, jump.
stop me now. Sounds good. Sounding good. Okay, it's getting close to midnight, so I think I'll um, call it there, guys. So, tomorrow maybe during the day I might look at doing something, I don't know. Uh, yeah, just thinking of what else I can do with this, I could do my, I'll tidy this up. I really do need to find some more fans. CPU fan uh, options. Because these ones are starting to slowly die. <laughs> um, yeah, it's, I'm getting really close to the point where this machine's done and dusted, I reckon. And once I get the hard drive installed and the compact flash adapter installed, things like that, get the machine tidied up, I'll actually start to use it a little bit, play some games. So, yeah, I might have another bash tomorrow and possibly stream some of it probably earlier in the day. Um, well, not early in the day, but I mean, not not at night time i think cassie you'll be streaming tomorrow night i'm assuming um so yeah uh, i'll probably look at maybe doing something in the afternoon yeah so yeah i'll leave it at that thanks guys um really appreciate your help uh, especially Kasunomi and Evil C. I'm not sure who else is on. Um, Case uh, um, Adrian, is it? Sorry, mate. Um, he was in earlier. And yep, really appreciate the help. It's bloody handy. Yeah, Adrian. Thank you. Thank you all for your contributions and your help. And we'll catch up with you tomorrow at some stage. And um, we'll go and do some. We'll have another wee play. I don't know what I'll do with it. <laughs> Just winging it. <laughs> See you guys. Thanks very much. Have a good night. <laughs>